I have some good news, guys. You can finally tell your mom that you're watching VTubers for educational purposes, but this time you mean it. She probably will still be disappointed in you, but um, at least you're providing views to my channel. That's gotta mean something, right? If your other hobby, aside from watching VTubers, is bodily horror, oh boy, do I have a treat for you today. If you weren't in a coma for the past several years and you opened, I don't know, at least one eye or one ear, you're probably familiar with the concept of bacteria and viruses. Most of us have probably even experienced the effects of them at some point. I mean, personally, I, I would never leave groceries in the fridge for way too long because I'm too lazy to get new ones and I don't want to throw away food that looks at least somewhat edible and, well, anyways, you know. I am so pleased and excited to introduce to you a new level of Lovecraftian horror, evil proteins. Like, proteins that will turn your brain into soup. Does the name Mad Cow Disease ring any bells? Or cow bells? Ever hear any stories of zombie-like deer? Let's dive in, but um, bring a 20-foot pole with you because this is a problem you do not want to experience. So what in tarnation is a prion, you ask? Prions are as simple and horrible as previously stated. They are proteins that misfold other proteins in your brain. Some of the sources I read state that there are normal proteins in the brain called prions, whereas the murderous edition of these proteins are called prion disease. For simplicity's sake, when I refer to prions in this video, I'm referring to the prions that create disease and destruction in your brain. It's like watching VTubing content. A protein shape is incredibly important to its functions. Just like on a macroscopic or big level, something being shaped like a corkscrew probably works in a completely different way than something that looks like a sheet of paper. As you could guess, your brain being misfolded is a tiny bit of a problem. Prions disassemble your brain into a pile of sludge and symptoms are essentially what you'd expect from your brain being disassembled. Hallucinations, memory loss, confusion, other such lovely things. We have many treatments that can target bacteria or viruses. Unfortunately, we don't yet have a treatment that can target these prions. So if you acquire prion disease, you probably have less than a year, and that's that. Thank goodness it's rare. There's only about 300 reported cases in humans per year in the US, aka the only country that matters. But really, it's a horrible disease. One of the most publicized infamous ways to get prion disease is mad cow disease, also called bovine spongiform encep encephalop encephalopathy. Try saying that five times fast. I'm not saying those words again in this video, or maybe ever. First, the United Kingdom insisted that you could not get mad cow disease from eating cows, then later they retracted that statement when someone got mad cow disease by eating a cow and... Well, that could be a multi-hour video project, but for now, you understand what mad cow disease is and what causes it. These revolting little proteins. There is also a disease called chronic wasting disease, which is basically mad cow disease for deer, moose, and the like. This leads to stories of zombie deer who walk around stumbling, drooling, and generally behaving in a creepypasta-like manner. As if going outside and touching grass wasn't already scary enough. Possibly one of the most disturbing ways to acquire this disease is to either inherit it or to just begin having it out of thin air. Pardon my French, German, Chinese, Arabic, Swahili, or whatever language this is, but Kretzfeld Jakob disease. Jakob? Kretzfeld Jakob disease, or CJD is a prion disease that you can be genetically predisposed to or just begin having sporadically. This has similar symptoms as the previously named diseases. However, there's also one subtype of this, familial fatal insomnia, which is, as the name implies, the abnormal prions accumulate in your brain in a way that causes progressive insomnia or inability to sleep. The last several months of life for these disease sufferers are them staying awake and becoming increasingly delirious. Sorry to end this video on a sour note, perhaps even more sour and stinky than contaminated cow brains. That being said, I hope you learned something about how mind-blowing, stupefying, and brain-stupefying science is. You are a little closer to death after watching this video, but rest assured that you will probably die from something other than prions. Dark humor aside, thank you for supporting my video with your viewership, and I hope you learned something, I hope you'll keep loving science, and I hope you're kind to yourself today.